Hi Leo, this is Eileen with your May 2018 Psychic Tarot card reading. And we're starting the month of May with the Knight of Wands. And the Wands do relate to the uh, fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And so uh, what this is indicating for a number of you Leos that you might be, um, some of you might be taking a trip. This can relate to travel, taking a trip. Some of you might uh, move to a new home or change locations. This is indicating some kind of forward movement for a number of you Leos in the month of May. And, you know, believe it or not, uh, the wands relate to work and action and progress. I feel like not only is this relating to someone maybe moving to a new home or something, um, I feel like also for some of you, you might be changing in your job situation. I'm tuning into maybe this is one person or more. Someone's changing from one, could be one department to another department at the company you're with now. That's what I'm feeling like for someone. And others of you might also be moving to a different um, a different, uh, could be a different company, a different location in your work area. And so it's good news all the way around. Uh, it's, there's different scenarios for different individuals who would watch this video, but it is a good omen for change for the better. And, um, now in some cases you might have to act quickly on this. Okay. Um, in the event someone's looking for a home, whether you're looking for an apartment or a house or whatever, something might just come available. It's right in front of you. It's like you have to, and you, and I feel like whoever I'm tuning into, this could be one person or more because I'm tuning in on a psychic level as well as reading the meanings of the cards. I do feel like it's more than one person. I feel like something's just going to be in front of you and something makes you smile. Okay. And you just, and you already know your answer is yes. That's what I'm getting. Some people are going to be smiling and going, yes, yes. And it's like, it's like you just move into this new situation, whether it's a home for some, it might be some kind of employment situation, a promotion at your job or another job. Um, overall, a good, good omen. And now also the Knight of Wands for some of you is representing an individual. And usually the Knights might be, um, maybe in their 30s or 40s age wise, possibly 20s. So this night for who, you know, different individuals might represent someone who's in their maybe late 20s or something. But overall, I would say 30s, possibly 40s. This could represent a love interest that comes your way. Let me see what I'm getting here. I feel like for some of you, this is you. You're the knight. And um, I mean, because this does, the wands do represent the fire signs anyway. You're the knight. And I feel like you're looking really good. And you're feeling good about yourself, about your work, about how you're doing in your life, your money situation. And I'm feeling like you're to me, what I'm getting is it, you're almost at the beginning of a new relationship. This is what I'm getting. So for some people, some of you Leos who watch the video, this is yourself and you're moving towards, you're doing well, you're making progress in your life, you're feeling good about yourselves, but you're making a progress towards a new relationship that has not materialized yet. That's what I'm getting. A new love relationship that has not yet materialized. Now, for others of you, Leo, that watch the video, this night represents someone who is coming into your life in the month of May, who will represent a new romantic um, relationship. And I feel like this person does well for themselves and they're, you know, they're... Um, ambitious like you are and uh, just, you know, have a good philosophy, good attitude about themselves and everything, confidence, but not a gigantic ego, just a nice, well-balanced, confident kind of temperament. So a lot of good energy I'm getting. And, you know, this is a general reading, so I'm just trying to tune in and, um, and relay messages I'm getting. So, um, so it's like a number of different scenarios I'm tuning into for different people here. Now, the next card we have is the seven of swords and 
Okay, this is more of a cautionary card. Some of you might be encountering or have or already have someone in your life who has not been honest with you. This is talking about possibly something being taken from you or being somebody cheating you. Somebody just write out lying, okay? But I it feels to me that you already recognize this person, what's going on with them. That's what I feel like kind of like it's not anything new, like you were already suspecting and knew things about this person that were not good. And it really, it's like, it's so clear to me that anyone, if you have someone in your life like this, if you have a choice, you really need to extricate yourself from them because you're not going to get honesty. They look like they live this way. This is how they live their lives. They're dishonest, they're unethical, and they really don't care. And I feel like they're really on a um, self-destructive trip in their own lives because of the way they live, because what you put out, you get back. And they've put out a lot of bad stuff over the years. And so they they live in the shadows. That's, that's how I feel. So I feel like when you first got acquainted with this person, they may have just appeared on the up and up and, and you know, good, like good character kind of people or something. And uh, as you got to know them better, you saw a whole different side to them. And then also for some of you, you need to just be cautious in your dealings with people in the month of May. You might be um, doing business with someone who's got kind of a shady character. So you got to be cautious who you're doing business with, who you um, entrust your money to or sign papers with, any of that sort of thing. And I mean, here and there, it could represent something is actually stolen from you. Like maybe you leave something visible in your car and somebody steals something out of your car or, or off your front porch or something. But overall, I'm feeling the vibe I'm getting for a number of you. This is someone you end up um, interacting with. For some, it's a personal romantic relationship that, I mean, you already know what this person's about by the time May comes along. It's like, it's like, uh, no, I don't want any more of that, you know. And for other people, it might be more business money related that in some dealings with someone. So just be on guard and um, use your better judgment. Listen to your intuition. Don't um, don't entertain this type of character any longer than you absolutely must and uh, disassociate a lot of negative energy I'm getting from this character. And we all know there's plenty of them out in the world like that. So, um, but I, I totally feel like most of you, this applies to, you see it, you see through them anyway. Maybe you didn't when you were first getting to know them or something, but you start, you know, you see the, the, what they're like. The next card we have is the tower card. And that's a major arcana destiny card, the tower card. And it's telling us that for some of you Leos, you're going to have some kind of a, um, something's going to come to an end. Okay. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting some relationship that matters here for some of you. I'm getting, um, some of you may be changing where you live. You might have been in a living arrangement with another person in a relationship situation that just hasn't worked out. And for some of you, it, it went, it turned sour, really sour. That's what I'm getting for some of you that you've been in some kind of a romantic relationship, possibly living with the person or just being around each other a lot for a while. And it feels like it, something was combustible in there. Something just totally didn't go right. And, um, you had been, this might just be one person I'm tuning in for that you had been tolerant and kind of waiting and going along and coasting along in this relationship because you thought you had a lot of good things going on too with it. And something might just happen. I don't know if the person you've been with has anger issues or maybe uh, something, something changed that you just decide, no, it's over. And it just becomes clear to everybody it's over. And this is not everybody. This is a general reading. I'm just tuning in for certain individuals here, what I can, because um, the tower basically means you've got something built on shifting sand. You didn't build on solid ground. Maybe you thought you had solid ground and then you start realizing something, this place is, things are cracking here, you know, and it's falling apart. So it's okay to have the tower. It just means it, you're lining yourself up for something better 
these are learning experiences. When these things do happen in life, we realize what we, you know, how we should have done things a better way, or we know very clearly what we don't want in the future, so we can focus on what we do want. So, um, and I feel like for a number of you, this is something you knew was coming on. That's what I feel like. And this is not everybody. This is a general reading. So it's certain individuals who will see this video who will identify with this card. For some of you, it's a work-related matter where you've been in a job that just ran its course and it finally maybe something even happened where you had an argument with somebody at work and you just decide that's it. Uh, I'm not staying. I deserve better. And you go find something else. But uh, it's different scenarios for different people. However, every person won't be affected by the tower. It's just the energy is there. So it's like, um, you know, build on more solid ground going forward. Next card we have is the Seven of Wands. And the seven, again, wands deal with the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of wands tells us that some of you will be defending your position in uh, the month of May. This could be at work. It could be in some family situation. It could be in some other personal matter. But um, so you might be having to... Um, you know, convince others of your way of thinking and defend your, your position, defend where you're coming from. But if you see, look at the card here, this person is not fearful. Um, this person is standing strong, defending their position, and they're not being conquered by anybody. Okay. And that's what the message is of the seven of wands. You're totally able and totally equipped to hold your own, to speak clearly, speak your truth clearly and accurately, and be strong. And that's who you are. And that's typical Leo anyway. That's the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, they don't mind if they've got to put up a fight here and there in whatever respect that might be um, in order to defend themselves, in order to be strong and be, be true to themselves. And that's what I see you, Leos, a lot of you in different scenarios. Again, some of you, this might be in a work situation where you've got people at work you have to um, uh, go up against because they're not in agreement with how you might want to do things. Or You know what I'm getting, though, for some of you? There's some jealousy here is what I'm getting. So if some of you find yourselves in some challenging situations dealing with other people, this could be in the personal life and it could be in your work. I'm getting jealousy. Pe people being jealous of you. So, um, but I don't feel like you're wavering. It's like, hey, this is nothing I haven't been through before. I've dealt with it before. I'll deal with it again and and then keep going on my way. It's like, it's like, it doesn't feel to me like it really takes anything from you. It's it's almost like you're going along in your life and doing your job or do, going through your personal life and whatever. And somebody's challenging you. It's like, okay, you know, it's like you're up for it. You know, you deal with the situation and then you move on. Like, like you don't miss a step. That's what I'm getting from this card here for a lot of people. If, if you're encountering something like that in the month of May. Next card we have is the King of Wands. Another wand card. So good. We got a lot of fire energy cards for Leo, since you're a fire sign anyway. And the King of Wands, that's a really good card. So the King of Wands tells me that uh, a number of you Leos in the month of May, you're going to be embodying the traits of the King of Wands. You're going to be feeling like the King of Wands. You're doing well. You're proud of the work you've done. You're proud of where you've gotten yourself to. You might know you still, I'm, I'm tuning in feeling like some of you might feel like, okay, yeah, I'm doing okay, but I still got further to go. And that's fine. But you know, you've done good quality work in your life. You know that you're laying a foundation for yourself. You're moving up and moving on. You have a lot of ambition, and uh, but I feel like at the same time, you have a lot of ambition, but you know you want to be able to enjoy what you have too. So, but I do feel like a lot of you just, you know, you're working hard and everything and getting things accomplished. I'm feeling like in this, um, again, I'm tuning in to certain individuals and whatever that I'm getting here that, let me look here and see what I'm getting. Some of you, I feel like there may be some of you Leos who feel like, yeah, I've been working hard. I've achieved a certain amount of success 
And I know I'm still going to, and it's almost like you have this sense of knowing that you're going to achieve a lot more success in your life. You're confident in yourself because of the successes you've already created for yourselves and uh, the way you've lived your life and the and your accomplishments so far. And you're confident you'll continue to do so. But I'm feeling like for some of you, you want to find your right mate. I feel like, um, I don't know who I'm tuning into. Maybe you were with someone in a relationship that was really serious before you may have been engaged or something possibly married. I'm, I'm not sure, but it's almost like that's over. It's behind you, but you still identify with having, you know, being in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And so you're searching for that right person again right now. But I don't feel a sense of um, anxiousness or urgency, but it is on, on your mind. It's, a, it's like it's in the front of your mind. And so you are noticing and, and there might be one person you're even attracted to right now that's catching your attention. Now, also, for some of you Leos, I feel like this King of Wands represents someone new who's going to be in the picture for you in the month of May. And the King of Wands, I mean, typically that's supposed to be a male, but everybody's got a, a certain amount of male and female energy. So, you know, it could be a female in some cases, but I'm feeling the King of Wands is someone um, who's going to be on the scene for some of you Leos. And this King of Wands is going to be noticing you. And he's in that position. I feel like I'm tuning into a male for somebody who um, he's in a good position, perhaps in his job. I feel like he's doing well for himself. It's possible you know him from work. That's what I feel like, the Leo, whoever I'm tuning in for. And this could be for more than one person. I'm not sure. I'm just passing along what I'm getting here. But I feel like this King of Wands is attracted to you. He's watching you. I do feel like there might be some age difference. He might be five, eight years older than you. I'm not sure. Not huge. You know, he's not way older. But I do feel like he might be a bit older. Or if he's not, maybe he just looks older. And he's attracted to you and drawn to you. So, um, yeah, so for some of you, this is somebody new coming in the picture here. But I feel like for those of you, because this could be a few people that this person comes into your life in May, I feel like he really does. This King of Wands is looking for a long-term mate. He's identifying with having a home and a family and having that perfect, he wants just the perfect, partner for himself. That's what he wants. He wants the ideal love relationship where you can both live a successful, happy, prosperous way of life. That's his intention. That's what he wants for himself. And he's looking for that right mate. So some of you will be around this person in the month of May. So just keep your eyes open. Okay. Next we have the five of swords. Five of swords is similar to the seven of swords. Again, this is talking about an unsavory character who might lie, cheat, steal, whatever, and he's proud of it. So um, <laughs> in some cases, it could be a female. It could be a female. So again, this is a cautionary card to be, be guard, you know, keep yourself guarded. Don't fall for, you know, anybody's um, charm or, um, you know, if they're coming across, because I mean, I feel like this Five of Swords character, whether it's male or female, they can come across like they're really on the up and up. That's what I'm feeling like. This person could be well-dressed, have it together, come across like they really are honest and upfront, and they're not being honest. I feel like they're living in a dishonest way and you can't trust them. So I would say, now in some cases, they might look the part a little more, okay? Okay. So I would say whoever this is applying to in the month of May, be cautious with who you're dealing with. I do feel like I'm tuning in for somebody that this is a romantic partner somebody is still involved with. That's what I feel like. Mm, I, I, this could be a male I'm looking at as the five of swords here for someone that you've already, you've been involved with them. He can turn on the charm, might be a nice looking guy, but I feel like he lies. I think you see it though. I feel like you know it now. By May, you know it. Uh, I do feel like this guy cheats. That's what I'm getting from him. So whoever you are, this might be one person I'm tuning in for. I feel, I totally feel like in May, you know it. You know it. It's no big secret. 
I mean, he may have been getting a lot, you know, maybe you didn't know earlier on because he puts on a good show on the surface. But by May, I feel like you totally see him for what he is. And it's like, okay, that's enough of that. So, um, and others of you might be around someone like this and you spot them right off the bat. And it's like, ugh, no thanks. So, um, yeah, it is. It's, you got two cards like this. So be careful in the month of May. Um, anything you're signing, documents you're signing, purchasing anything, do your homework, do your own research, hiring someone to do a job, watch, make sure, you know, be mindful of who you're dealing with and romantic people of a romantic interest, be guarded, you know, just Listen to your intuition. The more you follow your intuition, the more you'll get feelings about people. Because, uh, I mean, people can come across totally opposite on the surface of what's going on inside of them. I mean, I know that because I'm able to tune into people. <laughs> Luckily, sometimes it's hurtful, but still, I'm, I'm glad to be able to tune in and get those feelings from people that if they're, you know. Okay. Next, we have the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, now this is talking about things changing fast, so again, this is kind of reminding me of that Knight of Wands we had early on, that uh, you might, some of you Leos might be getting some kind of news that something just changes all of a sudden. Uh, perhaps, again, it could be as far as you're looking for a place to move to, and all of a sudden, the place you were interested in, you find out, hey, it's available. Somebody else didn't get it after all, but you got to move really quick. It's like everything happens quickly. So if somebody's moving, you might have to just hurry up and pack and get ready and get the paperwork done and hurry. Or for some of you, this might be job-related, that maybe you were kind of things, um, I don't know, maybe you had applied for a position and uh, you weren't hearing anything and some time's going by and then all of a sudden out of the blue they contact you and they want you to start as soon as possible. They want you to start whatever, get everything up, you know, up and going. Or for some people you might actually have to relocate for a new job and it's like just you, just, you have to make your plans quick and just jump into action. So it can be chaotic when you have the Knight of Swords. It's like better circumstances, changes for the better are coming, but a lot of times it's quick, it's chaotic. And so, you know, just be ready. Those of you who are, you know, kind of waiting on something that, I don't know, do whatever preliminary preparations you can for whatever it is you're waiting on and hoping for. So if it does come through for you, you're ready to move forward easily. And um, now also this can relate to a person, also this Knight of Swords. And the swords um, relate to the air signs of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So for some of you, this could relate to someone of one of those signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, who comes into your life in the month of May. I mean, they might just show up all of a sudden. Actually, this could be in a romantic sense where you're feeling, some of you might be feeling like, oh, I'm not going to meet anybody or whatever. Then all of a sudden, this person's right in front of you just out of the blue. You know, you might, it could be in any, any capacity. You could bump into them in the supermarket and all of a sudden strike up a conversation or at the coffee shop or some party you go to or whatever. So um, once again, this is like something just happening kind of quickly. So this could be a person who just pops up all of a sudden. And I do feel like for some of you, this is a romantic interest. I'm feeling this could be just one person I'm tuning in for that I feel like this Knight of Swords that I'm picturing that I'm tuning into is... Um, Again, I'm not even certain if it's a male or a female. I'm feeling like it's someone in their 20s, this Knight of Swords. And the Knight, again, they can be late 20s, 30s, even 40s. But I'm picturing someone who's in their 20s, maybe late 20s, maybe mid 20s, or else they look like it. And I feel like it's a new love interest that comes into your life. So this could be just one person I'm tuning into. I feel like this person's very attractive. And they just come up just out of the blue. All of a sudden, they're there. And it feels like this is going to be a new romantic interest. I feel like this person is going to be very attracted to you, whoever I'm reading for. 
I feel like it's a nice person. They have a nice temperament, nice personality. But they don't always say what's on their mind. That's what I'm getting here. This person, uh, they're a little more reserved about all of their feelings. You know, I know the fire signs. Well, I'm an Aries. Aries just say whatever, whatever's on their mind. It's like, you know, what you see is what you get. Um, I'm believing that Leo has a lot of that too. You know, you just, you're confident and you speak up and show who you are for the most part. Um, I feel like this person, they're a nice person, but they don't, they're a little more guarded, a little more cautious. So you're not always aware of what their feelings are for you, but I feel like this is someone new coming into your life in May. They're very interested. And I feel like this is a very attractive person too. So this could be for one Leo I'm reading for. It could be for more than one, the same scenario, but it, you know, it's something nice. It's good news. Okay. Next card we have is the Ace of Swords. And the sword energy, this is going to be really good for you in the month of May here with this Ace of Swords. Because the Ace of Swords is saying you can have uh, triumph or victory over adversity. So for whatever difficulties you've faced, whatever you've been dealing with with people, if you've had some of these, some of these kind of... Um, you know, characters that are of not, not of good, um, good quality overall in your life, giving you stress. The Ace of Swords says you're going to come out ahead in these things. You've, you're going to have the inner strength. You're going to have the mental clarity to see things as they are. That sword energy helps you to cut through the fog, help, cut through the clouds so you can see clearly and take the necessary steps and the necessary action that you need to that's good for you and your life. I get this really strong feeling of just having the strong intellect, insights, clarity and just be in take charge that's what I'm getting a lot of you are just going to be a, get into this take charge mode like okay I know what I've been through I know what I've been dealing with and now I'm moving forward in a strong manner that's what I'm getting here for a number of you so for and it's it, this is definitely indicating that um you will be able to overcome any setbacks or issues problems whatever that you've had to deal with and you're moving on. It's like even for those of you who experience, experience this tower energy in the month of May, it's like that gets left left behind. You know, it's like moving on, onward and upward. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, next card we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Pentacles cards, now they do relate to the earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So for some of you, this could represent someone... Um, of one of those signs that you're around, that you're exposed to in the month of May. I'm kind of feeling work-related issues is what I'm getting. Um, this Queen of Pentacles, for some of you, might be someone who benefits you at work is what I'm getting. I'm feeling, because the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's successful, you know, they're ambitious, they've accumulated a lot for themselves, they've accomplished a lot, they have taken have a lot of pride in their accomplishments. And uh, the pentacles, typically the earth signs, have a lot, take a lot of pride in their surroundings and what they do, how they do things, very quality oriented. And I'm feeling for some of you, this queen of pentacles person, and it could very well be a woman, um, is going to be in your workplace, they might be either giving you a promotion, giving you a raise, offering you a new job. Possibly this person might just be in a position of offering you a new job or just mentoring you if you're kind of new in your career or something. I'm just feeling this for a lot of you is a positive influence in your life that, I mean, for some of you, you might be applying for, I don't know, a loan to buy a home or something. And the, this queen of pentacles figure that, um, uh, that she, and I mean, maybe a he, but I, I'm kind of tending to believe it's a she, um, might grant the loan that you need to buy a house or a new car or something. It just, I'm getting good energy about getting some kind of positive help financially in, in the way that affects your finances, your career, whatever. That's what I'm getting. And then for others of you, this could be someone who's around you, the Queen of Pentacles, who's 
Let me see what I'm getting. In the way of a romantic interest. Some of you might have someone like this who's noticing you, who's attracted to you, who's interested in a, um, but they're proud. I don't feel like they're going to be acting all flirty or anything like that. I feel like they're going to be cautious. Um, and some of you Leos who watch this video, you might just be embodying the traits of the Queen of Pentacles in the month of May that you've worked um, and, and hard and you've accomplished a lot. You've acquired things. You have a nice home. You have a good job. You have a nice way of life and you appreciate all that you have. You like things to be aesthetically pleasing around you. You feel good about who you are and where where you've um, 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 gotten to in your life. But you're, um, you're open to having finding the right partner for yourself and so um, so you're you're you know you're receptive to a new relationship and you might meet someone in May that you're interested in who looks like they kind of match you they kind of line up with who you are and but you're not being overly anxious you're being a little cautious but you're still interacting with the person because you don't want to put your heart out on your sleeve as they say so overall good energy I'm getting let me see what else I'm getting for someone. And this could, I might be tuning in for one person here. You might be in the position of the Queen of Pentacles and embodying all of those traits. But you might also, in the month of May, I'm getting something about family. So you might be married or you might be pregnant or having kids or something family oriented. But it feels good. It feels good, like security and love and happiness and a happy family. Good, good energy I'm getting overall. Different scenarios for different pe people, but a lot of good energy from this card. Last card we have is the Five of Cups. And the cups have to do with, um, oh, the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But also the cups relate to emotions, feelings, love, romance, things like that typically. And so for some of you, you might be disappointed. You may have been disappointed in some love relationship and gotten your hearts broken or whatever. I'm feeling that, um, let me see what I'm getting here. Um, this might just be for, you know, like I said, this is a general reading. It's not like everybody's getting their heart broken in May. Some of you, though, who watch this video, you might feel disappointed or let down by someone in a relationship. And this is not always just a romantic relationship. Some of you might feel disappointed in a friendship. You might feel a friend was not there for you when you wanted them to be there. That's what I'm getting for some people. And you just feel really let down and disappointed, very disheartened by that. It's because because you know you're going to be there for your friends when they need you. And I'm feeling someone, this might be a few of you, it might just be one person I'm tuning into, that a friend just, maybe they said something to you that was very insensitive and hurt your feelings really bad. Or maybe they just weren't there for you. Or, you know, in some other way, maybe you feel betrayed by a friend. <clears throat> Or also, I feel like this could be the case of some someone else in your life. It could be somebody you work with that you feel was kind of betraying you and maybe talking behind your back with other people, that type of thing. Overall, I don't feel like it's anything terrible. That's what I'm getting. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got to get a drink of my water. I don't feel like it's anything terrible. I feel like this is Oh, just your emotions, you know, the emotions of the cup energy that sometimes, like when you have a lot of water, if you have a lot of water in your chart, you know, the, of the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, you can feel things so intensely that sometimes, um, you know, something that was done unfair to you by a supposed friend or a lover or whatever, wait, I've got to drink water. Sometimes it the feelings of hurtfulness are so strong. So some, and then later when you look back at it, it's like, well, okay, you know, I got over that. It wasn't the end of the world. That's um, that's the impression I'm getting from this card. That sometimes, um, <clears throat> when you have that kind of water energy going on, 
that you might feel things much more intensely than necessary. And I don't know if around the end of the month that there might be a full moon. Um, I know for myself when there's a full moon, and I have water energy. I've got my moon in Scorpio. I'm on the cusp of Pisces, even though I'm an Aries. So I've got some watery stuff going on too. But I know when we have a full moon, if something upsetting happens to me on the full moon, I get more upset by it than I would on any other day of the month. So the full moon, um, and there could be, a, I don't know when the full moon is, but this reminds me of full moon energy. That's what this card reminds me of looking at it for some of you Leos. So, so try to be objective and just, and you know, good thing about Leo, you're a fire sign. The fire signs, we spring back, you know, we might get our hearts broken one day and the next day we're back up and it's a new day. And um, I mean, you know, we, we have that flexibility built inside of us, the fire signs to just recover, you know, you get the rug pulled out from under you, you get back up and you just brush yourself off and keep going. And thank God for that. So, but this is not like a big major arcana card or anything. The tower card is, but like I said, that's just uh, could be sometime in relationships or some other situation that, um, you know, it wasn't built on solid ground or maybe something just ran its course and it's time to start over again. But you have a lot of good cards here, a lot of strength, a lot of uh, clarity, just as a lot of good messages here, but with some cautionary messages. Okay. So that's that deck, and that is the Gilded Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti. So what I want to do now is pull one card from the Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So I'm pulling one card for the month of May for Leo. And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. If you have done so, I thank you for your subscriptions. And feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. And be sure and check your rising and moon signs as they come available. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, so um, I need one card for the month of May 2018 for Leo. What's the message for Leo for May 2018? Leo from May 2018. What's the message for Leo from May 2018? Okay, one more shuffle. May 2018 for Leo. Okay, and I want to fan these out and pick a card here. Oh, this one's looking at me right here. I think it's this one. Okay, this says Prince of Autumn. Dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous. Let's see. Cautious but wise action. Meticulous attention to detail. Kindness to others. This is really... I feel like in a lot of ways this does tie in with the reading otherwise cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail kindness to others i think that's a trait of leo prince of a dependable protective chivalrous humorous to me that sounds like a leo right there i, I don't know who else it's for but that does sound like a leo okay and then next, I want to pick one card from Nature's Whispers. And Nature's Whispers is by Angela Hartfield with Josephine Wall artwork. I love the artwork in these. They're gorgeous. Okay, what's the message for Leo for May 2018? For Leo, May 2018. Okay, these are really hard to shuffle. They, and a lot of times these cards stick together. I mean, it's really a nice thick card stock, but maybe that's what makes them more difficult to shuffle them for me too. Okay, what's the message for Leo from May 2018? One more shuffle for Leo, May 2018. What's the message for Leo for May? Okay, now let me go ahead and fan these out and pick one card. I think it's this one here. Okay. This says breakthrough, number 
8. See if you can see the detail in this card. They're just gorgeous. There's so much detail in these cards. And the more you look at them, the more you see the images are so intricate. I mean, this, what did I say her name is? Uh, Josephine Wall. What a talent. I mean, I just can't get over the talent. Gorgeous. Okay, let me look up this message. It's number eight. Okay, let me find that one in the book. Number eight. Okay, breakthrough. Feel confident that things are falling into place. Just as a seedling breaking through the surface of the earth, you too are going to experience an emergence the efforts of your hard work will become evident and you will begin to see the difference. All of that labor and time you have invested has made. Count your blessings. You are gifted with a creative touch and the ability to generate new and wonderful things. Take a moment to feel proud of yourself for all that you have accomplished. Wow. I think that ties in well with this month's reading. That is a fantastic message. I love that. That's a really good message. And I think it's very appropriate for this month, Leos, and appropriate for Leos in general. Okay. Last but not least, I'm pulling one card from Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. Okay, what's the message for Leo for May 2018? I need one card, one message for Leo for May 2018. Leo. Okay, what's the message for Leo for May 2018? One more shuffle. Leo. What's the message for Leo for May 2018? Okay, I'm going to fan these out. This one seems to be the one here. Okay, this says Chantal. New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. This is a really nice card. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. I love that. And that ties in with some of the messages, too, in the cards this month. Okay, Leo, great. Well, thank you. I think it's a real good reading. You got a few cautionary things. Overall, a lot of positive messages here. So um, thank you for watching my video. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. If you have, I thank you. Feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. Check your rising and moon signs as they come available. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, so have a great month of May, Leo, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you for watching.